Exploring the Landscape of Language, Nouns for Describing Trends. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our channel, where we journey through the complexities and beauties of the English language. Today, we'll be focusing on the realm of academic and professional vocabulary, and specifically, the nouns for describing trends. This area of language is particularly useful when discussing data, charts, or changes over time in a professional or academic setting. As you know, nouns are words used to identify people, places, things, or ideas. However, in the context of describing trends, nouns serve a greater purpose. They allow us to succinctly label and discuss the changes and patterns we observe in data or events. Consider, for example, words like increase, decrease, growth, and decline. All these nouns instantly paint a clear picture of a trend's direction. So, let's delve deeper into these key vocabulary words. When data or events show a trend going upwards, we have several nouns to describe this. Words like increase, rise, growth, boost, upswing, and surge all indicate upward trends. Remember, these words are versatile and can be used in a variety of academic or professional contexts. For example, you might say, the company reported a significant increase in sales last quarter. Or, there has been a surge in demand for online learning tools. Contrarily, when things are going down or decreasing, we use words such as decrease, fall, decline, drop, downturn, and slump. In context, these could be used like so. The recent report shows a dramatic fall in profits, or the country has seen a decrease in tourism due to the pandemic. In situations where there's little or no change, we can use words like stability, plateau, level, standstill, or equilibrium. For instance, after a period of growth, the housing market has reached a plateau, or despite fluctuating market conditions, the company has maintained a level of steady sales. Sometimes, we also need to discuss the speed or extent of a trend. For this, we use nouns like fluctuation, oscillation, spike, dip, or leap. Examples might include, the stock market is known for its constant fluctuations, or there was a sudden spike in temperature over the weekend. That wraps up our exploration of nouns used for describing trends. I hope you now have a more robust vocabulary arsenal to articulate trends and patterns in your academic or professional discourse. Remember, practice makes perfect. So don't shy away from using these words in your everyday conversations and writing. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you in our next language adventure. Keep exploring, and keep learning.